everyone. We're going to solve this system. This is number six. It's very similar to the one we did before. So I'm going to write this because I'm going to use elimination. Um, I'm just going to move my constant over to the right side of the equation. And then I'm going to multiply my top equation, my first equation, by negative 2. And when I do that, I get a new system. Uh, not a new system, just different. Um, I'm just multiplying this whole thing through by negative 2. So you get negative 2x squared plus 6y squared equals 2. And I'm going to copy the second equation down. And then I'm going to use elimination. So when I add these, these cancel. And I'm going to get negative y squared equals negative 3. So y squared equals 3. So y equals plus or minus square root of 3. Don't forget that plus and minus. All right. So now all we have to do is substitute back in. And I'm going to go ahead and substitute it back into the first equation, or rather this one. And I'm going to substitute in the y. So you're going to get x squared minus 3 times the square root of 3 squared um, equals negative 1. And um, this will give you x squared minus 3 times 3 equals negative 1. So you get... Um, x squared minus 9 equals negative 1, so x squared equals 8, so x equals plus or minus square root of 8, which equals plus or minus 2 square root of 2. Now, so we have uh, y is square root of 3. We have two answers. We have 2 square root of 2, and we also have negative 2 square root of 2. Now, the next thing we want to do is plug in for negative square root of 3. And what you're going to find, when I plug, if I just plug in negative here, and that's going to square out and give me a positive again. So we still get the same values here. So I'm just going to copy those down. 2 square root of 2 and negative 2 square root of 2. And those are your four solutions. All right, thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.